This is just a perfect vlog opportunity. It is. I feel like I should be doing this work no, instead fine. of filming you. <laughs> this is my new friend, Atia. She's from Oregon. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she moved here to Utah because she loves my photography. That's exactly it. I'm just kidding. She's a, a ski instructor at Alta and we met through my brother. She worked with my bro brother, Brayden. And now we're out here in the Neff Canyon and we're gonna be doing some photo shooting. So I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about how to do a portrait shoot. Look at all these dogs. <laughs> Just came out of nowhere. Quick disclaimer, Atia is more a photographer and not a not a professional model. By my standards, she's professional, <laughs> but she she's more of a photographer. And so this will be a nice exercise for both of us. <laughs> Just against that tree. So say that I want to have her pose with her hands on her hips. So okay, put your hands on your hips. So I don't want to have her with an with like squeezing her waist. Okay, so this is what you do instead. Okay, put your weight. Put your hands a little bit down on your hips. There you go. See how much better that looks? The reason we don't want to put the model's hands right here is you're a little pinched. It looks a little uncomfortable and in photos it really doesn't look natural because nobody stands like this ever. Um, and it just looks too <laughs> <Exactly>. forced. <laughs> you also don't want to have your hands like, like put your hands like this, like backwards. Yeah, you also don't want to have them bending their wrist. I don't have then, hands. <laughs> that's like they don't have any hands. <laughs> so you don't want to have them put their hands on their waist, on their hips more, or rather, and with them showing their hands. How's that? Good. So another thing you'd want to make sure you don't do is have your model point their elbows. Like if you want to have them touching their face, you don't want to have them point their elbows right towards you, like this. <laughs> Because then it looks a little bit awkward. It's uh, your camera is going to want to try and focus on their elbows instead of their face. So instead, you want to have your model do something more like this. A little bit more open, loose, natural. Something that makes them more flattering and on the same scale so that everything's in focus. So let's say that I wanted to have Atia do a pose where she's facing me, where she's just standing and facing me. Sorry, we just walked up a hill. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're so cute. Look at these dogs. There's so many dogs everywhere. Where are they coming from? I don't know. <laughs> hey, whose are they? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Did she snap at you? <laughs> no, it just scared me. It made a weird noise. Uh oh. Oh, that's cute. If I wanted to have Atia do a pose where she's standing facing me, it would be super boring to have her just do a pose where she's just standing like a pole. To make it more flattering for the viewer, and like if she's the client, to make her happier with the photos, you wanna accentuate the body, make some shapes, like. Do some shapes, Atia. <laughs> there you go. Instead of just being like a pole, no shapes, no emotion, no figure, try and find some angles that, that will complement her and make it a little bit more interesting to look, to look at. You're doing great. <laughs> Perfect. What are you doing? I was crossing one eye and taking videos of it. <laughs> so artistic. Model things. Ah, you know. uh, yes. The next thing you want to be sure to not have your model do is called what was it called? Squinch. Squinch. You don't want to have your model squinch, which is like when they open their eyes, like they saw a ghost like this. So you don't want to have them <laughs> squinch their eyes. You want to have them do what's called smizing. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Smize? it's from Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks from America's Next Top Model. Smizing is, is smiling with your eyes, basically, mm -hmm. right? Which is not hard for Atya because her eyes are basically always smiling anyway. Oh. <laughs> Do the, sm do the smize. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> that just makes your model have 
more of a natural look on their face and less like they had just seen a ghost. Okay, so for the next one, so you don't want to have your model have like a sullen look on their face, like uh, like something maybe like when they look down, look at you with their eyes kind of looking up. That's something you'd like to try to avoid so they don't look pissed off in their photos that you give to them. Instead, you want to have them more looking up into the side and just have a happier look on their face, like maybe something like this instead. Looks great. So another one that you want to be sure that you don't do is have your model, like if they're doing something like where they're putting their hand over their head, you don't want to have them have their hands be flexed. You want to make sure their hands are always relaxed. So see how her finger is sort of pointing? You want to make sure that her hand is more relaxed, like something like this. So if you're going to do a pose like this, you'd want to make sure their hands are more relaxed. It just makes it a lot more soft, more natural, more feminine if you're shooting a female or a feminine male. <laughs> I love that. No, that's so good. Okay, all right. So put your hands on your hips. Okay, lower. There's stuff in my pockets. <laughs> There's stuff in my pockets here. Take the things out of your model's pockets first before you start. They create, um, you know, shapes in the pockets and stuff that you don't really need. Okay, tip your chin up. Not that high. A little to the side that way. Okay. Okay, so the last one that I want to point out is that you don't, you want to make sure that your model doesn't point their chin up too high. It's kind of the opposite of being too low, like with a sullen, pissed off look. So you don't want to have them be like looking too far up, like if you tell your model, okay, now look up to the side. You don't want to have them looking, <laughs> you don't want to be looking at the bottom of their chin. So instead, you want to have them more look down, but not too far down, just sort of somewhere in the middle. Just make them look natural. And then you're on your way to being a professional portrait photographer. There's a balloon right there. <laughs> cool. And then put your hands up. Up? Yeah. Like over your head, like artsy. Like I'm. Like what? artsy. Like artsy? Like you know, with the hand over. Oh. Hand. Both hands? <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to no, do that. I'm kidding. Help. One hand. Okay. Is that looking like a like a woman? I don't know. You don't look like a woman. I don't though, know how to do it. I'm just put it there like you this. go. Booyah. Is that another tip that you have for us? Yeah, you just cross them and then you move one to the side. <laughs> <laughs> so, another quick disclaimer. If any of this, if any part of this video seems awkward, it's because Atia and I just met like 30 minutes ago. So, we're still getting to know each other. <laughs> <laughs>